Hey y'all, so it is another part of this vlog because I got pieces to it. I was gonna put another one out before this one, but guess what? This is <laughs> the last vlog, okay? I mean, well, the the vlog of 2022. I'll be vlogging in 2023, girl. <laughs> but anyway, so this is December 31st. Hey, we are on the cusp of a brand new year and boy, I can't wait till it get here. <laughs> and also, happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> happy Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. I've been really being purposeful. I think earlier in a video, um, the black owned business that I, you know, uh, participated in, like, you know, buying black owned business stuff. Uh, my barber is black owned. Uh, my nail tech is black. Like, so I just really... Um, now, the chick who did my eyebrows was, was Asian. That's because I just ain't found nobody black yet, okay? I'm working on it. I'm new here. I'm working on it. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, I always, especially, do, and this especially during Kwanzaa week, I always try to really be intentionally, intentionally black, like buying black, promoting black, encouraging black, like talking to our people and, you know, just promoting wellness and, and, and stability in our community. So... That's just me, you know. Um, but yeah, so happy Kwanzaa. And um, so also, um, I wanted to kind of do my Thankful Thursday over here. Because, I, again, I did not post a Thankful Thursday. So I'm adding it to this vlog. Um, and I am thankful for, um, especially on the last, this is the last week, the last day of the year of 2022 and i'm thankful um to have made it this far that's you know number one i think for life health and strength um but um god it's been challenging like this year was a mental health challenge for myself and true transparency you know for myself um I suffer from severe anxiety, uh, panic attacks, um, some depression that I've never felt before. Some, uh, so depression and um, some insecurities on myself just in where I was and the decisions I was making. And, um, and as you know, most of everybody knows, should know by now, I transitioned from my life living in Oakland, California. Well, yeah, living in Oakland, California for my whole life. Right. And now I just moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Right. For a new just a newness. Right. A restart. Um, I am so blessed and I'm so honored. I mean, I'm I'm really impressed with myself for making this transition, although it has been a tough transition. Um, I didn't know I would get emotional doing this video, but. It's so real, real emotions, real feelings. Um, I lost my brother and my pastor, my friend, my confidant. On the same day I landed here, which was not expected at all. Um, he sent me away like that Saturday before we came to my house. I cooked. We... You know, so he gave his blessing and we had such a wonderful um, time. It was me, him, when I'm talking about him, Jabari Cargow, my sister, Naomi, and a good friend of mine, Maisha. She had never met him and uh, until that night. And it was so crazy when she found out that he passed. She was like, I only spent that one night with him, but I could tell he was just such a great man. I had such a great time with him. Just even that one night over dinner, you know, and um, so to make such a big move in my life and um, also have such a big loss <laughs> at the very same time, um, I, I, I couldn't tell you guys how I was going to make it this far. I don't I can't tell you even how I made it I'll tell you my baby my baby had a lot to do with it <laughs> Skyline along with the help of the Lord I'm just talking about 
just kind of getting through definitely prayers. Um, definitely my best friend in the whole wide, wide world, Angel. Um, my other great, great friend, Amber. Um, Shay. Um, these are people who I literally called on any time of the day or the night. Because I went through so much in, the, in my transition. Um, grieving by yourself is no fun. I came to Atlanta alone, you know, alone. Just me and Skyline. And not to have, you know, anybody around me that I could really reach out and, like, really connect with at all. Like, I got a couple of friends here. My friend, Annie, she's great. Um, and a couple of other people, but... Nobody I can really just like, you know, um, really grieve with, you know what I mean? And so to have my family all back home in California, everybody's grieving. They're doing it together, you know, being able to like go to his memorial and things of that nature. Like things I missed out on, you know, I was able to attend his funeral and things. And so I'm so glad I was able to make that. But like, you know what I mean? Like the initial grieving and continue to grieve process with friends and family you know that's just different you know when you're alone so i have to say that was really really hard and um i'm just thankful to god like i said to my core people my core friend my core group that was just like there with me there by my side answering my calls you know when i was having anxiety attacks you know by myself and um you know uh so they were there for me. They supported me and um, I love them. I'm going to have them on the channel so you guys can really meet them and see them at some point. But anyways, um, and then like I said, 2022 is just really overall generally very hard for me. I just, <laughs> it was one, it's one of them years to remember. It's one of those years to be like, you know what? <laughs> hard year. <laughs> yeah. It is definitely one of those years. I, I, I can't wait for 2022 to be over. <laughs> I'm like, hurry up and strike midnight for real. Um, the best thing about my 2022 is, you know, of course, God just keeping me in, in health and strength. And I, I appreciate that. Of course, my beautiful and wonderful son, Skyline, <laughs> who's sleeping right now. Um, and he, cause he's been there support for me. I'm telling you, I, it knew, I knew it was nothing but God that even had me to get the puppy. It was so crazy. My barber like was like, Hey, I got some free puppies. And I was like, Oh my God. And he showed me the picture and the video of them. And I was like, Oh my gosh, they're so cute. But I thought I didn't have, sorry y'all. I thought I did not have room or space in my life for a puppy. I was like, no, I'm going to be like, let's go. I'm going to do this and then the other. And I'll tell you, if I hadn't got him, I don't know where I would be emotionally. Like, he is my registered emotional support animal. Okay, I had to get it done. But my doctor, she gave me a note and everything. Because he was the only thing that really, like, helped me to calm down and refocus, right? And when you taking care of an animal, it helps you to kind of re... And then their presence is always really lovely. But it also helps you to refocus off, like, your mind going into those, you know, especially when you have anxiety going out into the, the deeps of, like, thoughts that you shouldn't even be in um for me he helps to refocus me and be like okay i'm gonna take care of him feed him pet him oh he's so cute oh he's my attention oh my love you know it just kind of helps you to refocus out of my mind that just wants to just do its own thing okay um but anyway so i want to say that that was he's the best thing that ever happened to me and i love him all my heart as my baby um, and I really look forward to the rest of this year to growing my businesses, Vanessa and Purpose, to continue to expand Vanessa and Purpose, to launch my new business that I've already been, um, kind of doing behind the scenes, but I will definitely have an official launch in January, um, of, of my second business that you guys, uh, will hear and know about also to just further my career, um, as a social worker, um, and then also just making a life here in Atlanta, Georgia, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I was able to make this transition and make it smoothly, you know, for the most part. Um, I'm sustained. I'm doing well. And um, I, I'm, I'm excited about what's next to come. Um, and so 
um, what? I, I can't even say I got New Year's resolutions. I just want to continue on what God has me to do. I can't, I, I, at least not at this time, maybe later on <clears throat> when I do one later, it may come to me on some type of resolution. Right now, I just want to continue on where God got me and um, to continue to get stable, you know, in Atlanta and, you know, secure employment and and a place and a car and all the things you need here. <laughs> it's way different than the Bay Area. Um but um I could continue to grow my 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 friend network like getting to know people and it's just really really nice um to be able to be in the town and have friends and so also a new thing for me is I am now a new member of Impact Fellowship Church um based out of Richmond, California. My pastor is Pastor Trevor and I am so grateful for that this beautiful man of God. I he um he fellowshiped with um with my um uh, with Jabari Cargat, my former pastor, my late pastor, and um my former church, Vision Christian Center. They fellowship with us. His ministry was birthed out of my pastor speaking to his life and, and, and telling him what thus said the Lord about him starting his ministry. And so therefore he started his ministry and it is flourishing and doing awesome. And even though I am in Atlanta, he has members out here in Atlanta, he has members in other states. Um, because our services are virtual, uh, most of them, uh, Facebook, Zoom, conference call, prayers. And so we're able to connect with one another. Although we are distanced by miles, we are still connected all in the kingdom of God. And I'm so honored and privileged to be able to be a part of this great great, great, great ministry and to continue to do the work of the Lord, even in Atlanta and be connected to ministry. So I am so privileged and honored with that. And I'm so grateful to God for that. And so anyways, I am, I am honored and I am, um, oh, I am just privileged to just be in a place of complete freeness and wholeness. Um, and if you guys didn't know, you know, I am a queer woman, black woman, full figured woman. And to just embrace me as a totality and be a part of a ministry that embraces me, be a part of my own family, my mothers, my sisters, my brothers, my nieces, my nephews, and everybody um, and in my community, my friends and my support network that embrace me in its totality. I love it. You know what I mean? I love it as a Christian woman, as a saved woman, as a sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost woman. Yet and still, I love it. I feel a newness with God. I feel a, a refreshing um, in this, this direction that God has taken me into. I'm so excited about doing even more work for the kingdom of God and coming to you all on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and everywhere and TikTok. I, I plan to do way more work in my social media platforms and to really just get back, um, you know, get back busy doing what God has called me to do on my social media platforms. So again, I'm honored and privileged to just be here before you all here on last the last day of the year of 2022. Um, and I'm still grateful for all the blessings of 2022, all the sadness and um, the, the badness. Um, a good friend, another good friend of mine recently passed away a few days ago. Um, his name was Wesley McAfee, good friend of mine in high through high school and after high school. And so just to lose another a loved one it's just been really rough but i still i'm still grateful to god and i still praise god even even in the sadness so i lift everybody up uh those that have lost loved ones on this year um those that are struggling mentally and emotionally i lift you up in prayer um know that god loves you and i love you too and god bless you all and Happy New Year. <laughs> I will be seeing y'all again soon with another video. All right. Love y'all. Peace.